I've been so alone ever since I left the tribe. That's just how it goes, cause I like the Yo, what is up guys, Surgical Goblin here and welcome to this new video. In today's video, I will be playing a Challenger 2 deck, a deck which got me to Challenger 2. I already shared this deck before, which got me 12 wins in uh, a Grand Challenge. Some adjustments, I put the Electro Wist for the Archers in that version. I also put the Fire Spirits for the Skeletons in the original version, if you guys see, um, can see that video. First, I will go over the update, because... Two days ago, for if you guys will watch this, I believe it will be four or five days ago, the update happened. A really big uh, update in my opinion, just because there are leaks right now. I think it's really cool for the top ladder players. Um, a season will be 30 days long right now. Uh, a new chest, a draft chest. So after the season, depending on what league you are in, you will get a draft chest. Let's say I open the chest. There will be two cards and I can pick one of them just like a draft challenge picking a card. So they will show me for example um, a Hawk Rider and uh, the Musketeer and then I can get to pick a card. So that's really cool in my opinion. Clan Battles, um, that will be in March 24, so not yet. I'm really excited for that. I will definitely make videos on that. New cards, there will also be uh, the Bandit, the Challenge. That one is coming I believe in three days or something. When, when this video will be online, I believe um, the, the day after, so I will definitely make a video on that. A new arena, so I, I will be playing in that very soon. And some improvements, so it might be a really cool update. Again, this is deck, uh, I will do some live battles. As you can see, in Challenger, um, Challenger 2, um, Challenger 3 is 4,600, etc, um, etc. Et I'm looking to finish on my personal account, either in Master 1 or higher. Or maybe even Master 2. My current personal best is, um, let's see, 5,012. But maybe it will be easier because a season is um, a, a month long a month long right now. So let's get into the battle right now. Um, I hope we will match right away. We have been matching some level 13s lately just because the season, it's a new season. But we're facing a level 12. So let's give him a thumbs up and a good luck. And Mortar is really strong on ladder. Um... Some people tend to overspend versus the mortar. And uh, we also have the rocket. We are a bit laggy, not that much. But yeah, we do take down his collector um, in time before he got any elixir out of that. So really good trade for us. We are already, look at the damage we did to his left tower. So he comes with a mortar. Or he comes with a golem, I mean. I will definitely go with a mortar just to spend. To force him to split his elixir. Um, a knight and an electro wizard is doing a really good job at defending. And if he leaves the mortar alone. That will do so much damage. He does come with e-bars level 13. That's really well, that that's uh, it's really high. But it looks like yeah, our princess does die. But the e-barb only get one hit. Look at the damage the level a uh, maxed e-barb does. Um, I hope he doesn't have a lightning right here. But look, oh he does have a lightning. Wow, well played by him. He's dealing so much damage. We barely, I mean, we did some good damage there, but not that much. But let's try to chip away with the princess. Uh, I will save up for the rocket just in case he actually pumps up again. He does have a lock right there, so a good lock for him. But him using the lock, I also use my fire spirits or ice spirit to chip away often. Uh, let's see how he will respond to these fire spirits. Um, or we will get some solid chip damage in. He lets he lets the damage happen. I believe that's like 400 or maybe even more uh, damage on top of his tower. So that's really nice. Uh, if he goes with the golem again, just mortar again to chip away. Maybe get his tower into rocket range. Um, yeah, I think so far we, we should not really commit. He does come with a golem again. Hopefully the mortar uh, locks on. But his placement is pretty smart. He, adjust, he is adjusting his placement. Um, our mortar, well, he has, he has double barbarians, which is kind of annoying, just because they are so tanky. Um, we are forced to lock right there, and it looks like he's got, his golem is still making it to the tower with the death damage. So, let's see if we can get the, the archers died to uh, the ice, yeah, the ice spirit. Um, I know that he has e barb, so I'm kind of looking to drop an e whiz first. And then, oh, he, he, come, he is coming with the e barb aggressive right now, so let's drop the knight there. Um, it looks like the Ewis isn't even going to uh, target them, so let's drop, let's drop fire spirits there. Uh, I will lock his executioner uh, just so the um, the tower can kill it off. 
and his our tower is really low we so we have to focus on the mortar right now but he comes with another golem which is so annoying uh, his golem is constantly tanking yeah i was about to say i believe he will come with barbarians very soon so let's drop a look over there um i did cycle back to another another mortar but we are oh i was about to say we're lagging but we did pull it right now hopefully this mortar locks on it does lock on guys um he linings this well played by him hopefully this mortar will get a hit in let's see our princess is actually um shooting the tower right now but let's let's lock away his e-barbs this is really intense hopefully it dies the e-barbs does die he does he isn't responding to our princess and the rocket does 594 this will be so close guys wow this is really intense guys let's cycle uh ice spirit fire spirits i think we can look right here we are a bit laggy but i think we still got it our tower is to 112 let's see yes yes wow, wow. <laughs> i i don't know what to say right now that was insanely close he's giving the wow i will give the good game for sure that was so intense guys um i think that's the highest yeah that's the highest for this season so far so wow that was really intense definitely a good game by him look at his levels he has level 13 e-barbs level 13 barbarians um well guys i i well I, I i don't know what to say i really i i can't believe we won that well wow, sorry um let's get into one more match i think maybe two more matches depending on how well we do but let's search right now and we match another level 12 so let's give him the thumbs up and a good um and a good luck uh let's let's restart again let's focus again um still wow what, what a great game um i don't know what to say right now but as, as i just said let's focus on this game right now so i'm dropping my princess in the back because he's dropping his he was in the back um if he if he decides to lock this or he actually decides to go with a, a graveyard poison interesting so let's let's um drop our e on top of his e and a lock and i think yeah that should kill it all so he spent he spent quite a lot he still has to respond to our e uh, i think that will get two hits yeah nice so he has an e he has uh, poison graveyard so let's see if he has any tanks or whatever to respond to our mortar but let's drop it right now i have an ice bird ready in case he drops an inferno and he he's kind of actually overspending there he dropped five elixir and he dropped a knight so that is um eight elixir right there i do have to respond to the knight but overall i think he over defended the mortar there um knowing that i can just sit back reset and if he goes or if I have the mortar again, I have it already in cycle. I think he doesn't really have a good defense right now because we out outcycled his inferno. So let's wait until his inferno is gone. Um, then we can actually drop a mortar again. So let's do that right now. There it goes. Let's drop an ice spirit right now. I'm not sure what he has. Um, yeah, he's forced to poison this just because he he doesn't have a good hand. We why well, he even is forced to lock just because we outcycled his defense. Um, we have our lock ready. He drops a, a knight, he drops his arch. Look at the damage we're doing, guys. Really solid damage we just did there. I'm, I am kind of worried about um, a possibly a graveyard coming. But let's time the e to hit everything. And we kill the, the knight as well. I think he has to drop his own e right here. Um, let's see. Yeah, he does have to drop his own e -wiz. Our ice spirit is level 12, so that will tank. But we are a bit laggy, but... Wow, the, the e -wiz still gets two hits in. Let's drop a princess over here because I know that he will come with a um an um, graveyard. He drops an he drops a poison as well and a lock. He's he's trying to get he's he's really aggressive with the spells all the times. Let's try to punish him with a ice spirit here. So our e -wiz, our knight is here. Let's drop a, another knight and our mortar will just splash it all, guys. Um, again a really intense match. Let's actually lock this all. I think the mortar should lock on right now um yeah he well he even misses his he even misses his poison he doesn't hit the tower um yeah we we can just i think we could we could look right now i'm not sure i'll just drop um i'll drop a princess i'll just drop everything right now just to cycle let's see how much our lock does it it isn't it is not enough so we need to rock it but let's let's do that right now that's definitely good game so let's give him the good game the well played and the thumbs up and there you guys there you guys can see uh, i think we did have a, a little uh, level uh yeah level advantage in this game but let's check that right now not a huge one no actually not not that much we uh he had level three legendaries we had level three legendaries he even had a, a max out common the knight so he sort of had the advantage in that game but definitely a good game 
And this deck, even though it doesn't really have a good graveyard counter like me as archers, it is still doing a really good job at um, defending the graveyard. So there you guys can see um, over 4,440 cups. Right now that's 1,646 in the world. That, that's also a cool future they added. Um, definitely nice if, you don't, if you're not in the top 200 but you still want to know in what place in the world you are. But I really hope you guys enjoyed those two live battles. It was really nice, in my opinion. I really hope you guys um, can learn from this deck. If you're if you're trying to find a good ladder deck, as you guys can see, I'm currently in Challenger 2. The season reset just happened. I'm trying to get around either Master 1 or Master 2. Hopefully Master 2, my current PB. I think I said that before as well, 5,012. Uh, but as always, I hope you guys don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed to my channel yet. And I hope to see you in one of my next videos.